What is your doctorate in? 320 minutes for the Stranger Things hell. Now the little prize that you do get is this little Any questions? Okay guys, we are back at Universal Studios Orlando and it it's time for another night at Halloween Horror Nights 2023. We're gonna be doing the Little Boo scavenger hunt and then we'll also be trying some new food. Time for the HHN shirt of the day. This one is a pretty hard one to find. It's gonna be from Halloween Horror Nights 2002, Islands of Fear. You got the tie-dye design, you got Carnage right there on the back. It does say Halloween Horror Nights. So on that note, let's roll the commercial. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy should have stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little piggy was all alone. Welcome back. It is a, it's a still a toasty one. It's like a hundred and something degrees. I always love doing all these little scavenger hunts that Universal does. They do it for Mardi Gras, they do it for Christmas, and also for Halloween Horror Nights. It's pretty cheap and affordable. It's great for the kids if you don't like doing, you know, Halloween Horror Nights and it's too spooky and scary for people. Kind of get to explore different stores that you would never experience. Kind of your normal day-to-day -day park day. You can pick it up at pretty much any one of the gift shops. They'll have the stand of like the Little Boo Hunt and you can purchase it there. And then there's Little Boo Scarecrows at Universal Studios, Universal City Walk, and also Islands of Adventure. So it kind of gives you a whole little fun day of a scavenger hunt to do. Right here in the main gift shop, the little humanoid little boo right there that says, Little Boo's Trick or Seek. Help find Little Boo. See a team member to participate. This is what we're dealing with. Uh, it was $13 for the little scavenger hunt. They do give you the ornament, the completer ornament in the beginning, so in case you don't finish it, you don't feel left out. But I'll show you the ornament after we finish. But this is gonna be the little booklet. I love the design of it. Then on the back it says, have you seen Little Boo? Islands of Adventure, Universal Studios, and City Walk. So it says, can you find Little Boo? Ready or not, here we come. Take a walk around Universal Orlando Resort and seek where Little Boo is hiding. Find the clues on his treat bag and solve the secret phrase. Match the icon to the letter at each location to reveal the phrase. 13 little boos to find. Now, the team has made it incredibly hard this year. It used to be really easy. This is all for the pass holders, right? They want to give us a challenge. Okay, so the symbol to correspond with the letter is going to be on the main little boo here. So there's a hidden boo in the gift shop, right? But then the symbol that you're looking for for the catchphrase is like the bat. So this means Y for number one. If you're wondering, they do give you a pencil to help fill it out. Okay, first one is awesome. It blends in with the frame. It's behind the register with the Universal Monsters. They didn't have to go this hard, but they did. Like, Little Boo blends in perfectly with the frame. That is incredible. Even from the side, they recreated the print. Now they did add this giant display with this like pumpkin guy and you look down here, there's like a little dead rat underneath the uh, stairs. I know over by the brown derby, I back by the team member door, they've added some little stickers. The little witch, it says happy Halloween and then a little haunted house. And the next little boo is gonna be here at five and dine. Next to Creature's Booty, we got the next little boo right there. It's gonna be a gravestone. I can't find little boo, Greg. Normally I get spot stuff. We're looking in the rafters right now. Is he up here? Is he somewhere in the rafters? I do not know. Creature, please help me, man. I'm struggling. They got me on my hands and knees looking for little boo. This, this is so hard. <laughs> All right, so Creature's here. Skip about 10 seconds if you don't want to spoil it for you. I mean, a Creature here then hidden all the way down here. Oh my gosh. Is you have Little Boo. It's like he owed the Mafia some money because he's swimming with the fishes. So he's just holding on to a little fish right down there. The next Little Boo is going to be hidden inside the MIB gear shop. Some of the best AC in any theme park is in here. All right, Kitra, this shot's for you. This, uh... Lumpy, crusty alien booty. Oh, I spot him. He's right there. Okay, hidden up here. This is amazing. So you have the little boo. He's got the little alien antenna. He's got a tinfoil hat, neuralizer in his pocket, and then also a noisy cricket in his hand. I just love this so much. Just the amount of fun that the team was having building these. Such a good little boo. Does make me kind of hungry for a watermelon though. So you can purchase like the little cricket gun over here or the neuralizer. The next little boo symbol is gonna be a witch hat. So we've added it to the little phrase. So we're getting there. Looks like the Death Eaters have entered into England now and they're roaming around. Oh, this is great. Okay, I cannot wait to see how the Death Theaters are operating tonight. They're just, they're just watching you. They're always watching you. Okay, we have a problem. It's stay and scream time. The only way to get to the scarecrow in there is check it with stay and scream. Finish this uh, during the daytime, it looks like, because it looks like when HHN is happening, you can't finish it. So the next one is going to be inside the candy factory. So we see Little Boo. We got a spider down here. We got the Little Boo. He's like camouflaged in with the wall up there. So you got Little Boo with like a metallic head. He looks like he's from San Francisco from like the shipping yard, right? The one full distressing, and then we have his little pumpkin pail and there's like 
some gummies, some gummy worms and gummy frogs. But the stay and scream here in San Francisco is going to be for Chucky's Ultimate Kill Count. We're going to be trying a new little cocktail over here. It's a uh, kind of a play on the shark attack. It's um, not made by the guy who makes all the bitters drink. It's created and made by the bartenders here. Looks like Otto has visited the bar because there's all these googly eyes that have popped up on all the buckets. But uh, this is what we're here for. It's going to be for the zombie shark attack. Chuck, 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 chuck. Kevin out of the water, swimming to shore. Shark, shark. You thought he was dead. He's back from the dead. He's a zombie shark coming to get your brains, brains. I want brains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we even have a little zombie shark. The bartenders here are some of the best theme park bartenders you will ever meet. They're just the hospitality, the fun vibe, and they know how to make a drink. So I have high hopes for this drink because it's not made by the bitters guy. It could be the zombie shark attack, Maduri vodka, peach snops, blue curacao, sour mix, pineapple, and lime juice. It's nice and simple. There's like a dead uh, shark on top. He's green. I like that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Mm, that is wonderful. Holy crap. I think that's the first 10 out of 10 of the HHN drinks. It's a must. It almost tastes like a gusher, but it doesn't have the sourness and the very sugariness. Very subtle, refreshing, fruity drink, and you get that very chill pineapple aftertaste to it. A uh, wonderful team member named Ray let us in. Uh, so we're gonna say hair traders real quick, see the little boo, and then we gotta exit. Arrow, where could little boo be? All right, next to the mummy over here, it's gonna be a zombie hand. All right, the little boo has been mummified. Get a little better shot with the night vision. So you have like a skull on top, his eyes, he's like a pharaoh. Pharaoh little boo. Holding some sort of staff, it looks like. Is the staff the pumpkin lord? I think that's what's on the staff. On his crown is the pumpkin lord. Oh my god, that's so good. So Universal Studios has been completed. Day and Scream is happening. So there's five in Universal Studios, five in Islands of Adventure, and then three happening here in CityWalk. I am feeling that zombie shark attack. So the first one here at City Walk, we're gonna be going to Tusum's Chocolate Emporium. Okay, so in the gift shop, the symbol is gonna be a spooky tree. Now he's a little hard to spot. He's all the way up here. So you get a look, uh, he's got like a steampunk hat on. He's got some steampunk gloves. And I love that even the steampunk vibe goes all the way down to the bottom of his shoes. So hidden up here, is the little boo. That is the first one down at City Walk. We're going to Islands next. We're having a lot of fun, right? Have a drink or two. Go do a scavenger hunt. You're going to have a good night. The first little boo is going to be hidden here at the trading company when you first walk in. The little boo uh, symbol is going to be the zombie hand. The little boo is a little hard to spot over here. He's hidden all the way up here. Fits in with the port entry theme. So little boo's head looks like a hot air balloon. You have some birds flying around his head. Then you go down and he looks like a little steampunk, kind of like captain. He's got some gloves and a little steering wheel and then kind of those same inflation hot air balloons right there. So it fits in the, with that kind of explore steampunk vibe. We have a giant hot air balloon in the middle of the gift shop. So the little boo is going to be inside the Marvel shop. Uh, now this is a very original name for this shop. It's just called Store. All right, let's go find little boo. So next to the register will be the little ghost. Are they, is that ghost drooling a little bit? He's thinking about those pizza fries. Right here, as you have galactic little boo. They do have some new prizes to earn over here. They have the Bride, they have Frankenstein, and then we also have a Vampire. The next little boo is going to be hidden here at uh, Toon Extra. Ooh. Ooh, God. Uh, the head of Betty Boop. A little boo. Then we go down um, the umbrella, the little hearts, little boo's hands. All right, now the little symbol over here is going to be another little ghost. The next little boo is going to be here at the dino store. All right, so over here, this little symbol is going to be the zombie hand again. And this is another kind of a nightmare fuel little boo. It's a velociraptor. It's like Dr. Oddfellow has turned him into all these little creatures. So if you look on his boot, you can see kind of like velociraptor claws, some blood on his boot. Then when you go up, it's a little distressed. The little boo has a raptor tail, raptor claws, and then the raptor eyes. This is utterly terrifying. Little Boo is just kind of riding on top of the dinosaur. He's just, uh, he's just chilling up there. Little Raptor Boo. All right, now the last Little Boo is going to be here at the All Hallows Eve Boutique. The thumper has been turned off. So over here, the Little Boo is hidden up here. He's got like a clown paint job, and he's holding up the little wax mold that you can purchase. You know, he's our little Gordon Savior. He's putting out his little offering for Little Boo. So you can kind of see uh, the clown makeup. You know, fits in the Dr. Oddfellow Carnival theme. Then you can see the wax mold that Little Boo is holding. It almost looks like there's a paint job on the wax mold. 
and he's wearing like a little trench coat. All right, you know what? Let's get the little wax mold. I got the orange one last year. So the wax machine over here is gonna say, Little Boo's Trick or Seek collectible figure. Have you seen Little Boo? You got the wonderful design. It's got that same little map. They're gonna be $8 each. Now this is not the true birthplace of Little Boo. We saw the birthplace in the food stand, then it got changed. Uh, but so just imagine Little Boo being made right here. This is the content you sign up for, right? Okay, little buddy. He's here. Little Boo's here. He's He's been birthed into the world. Here's a better look at the little gray Little Boo. So it says Little Boo on the bottom. It says Universal Studios on the back of it. We are now at Universal City Walk. There's two more. This one is a lot of fun. We found this the one the other day. Over here in the transformation chamber. This is from for a makeup show. To transform the performer into the fly, right? So you have the fly hidden in there. You have the actual fly right there. But then you have a little fly, Little Boo. And he has a little fly on his coat. And if you look, he even has little wings. Little fly wings. He's hidden in there. And then you can't forget to say hello to Gerg's crate over here. Right, we've made it to the 13th and final one at the Universal Studios store here at CityWalk. Now, this has been such a fun journey with this little scavenger hunt. I highly suggest doing it. Uh, there are different challenge levels to it. The more drinks you have, the more challenging it gets. Again, I'm not going to reveal what it says because I want you guys to do it for yourself and figure out what the little catchphrase is. But let's find the last one here. The final little boo is going to be camouflaged in with the blueprint over here. Andy and little boo blends in perfectly. Now that we finished the scavenger hunt, you know, you got to pregame up the, at the deck coconut club. So we're going to go up here, get a drink or two, review it for you guys. And we'll head into Halloween Horror Night, press some new food, see how the wait times are. Oh, you had me stressing, Universal. We know the disaster with all the private events last year. There's a private event up here, but it stops here. So thank God the Dead Coconut Club is open now. They're now selling the limited edition Revenge of the Dead Coconut shirt. I've been on the hunt for it. Looks like it's gonna be $33 and it's gonna come with 3D glasses. It'll be available at the Universal CityWalk store. It just opened and Coconut Club is slam packed right now. There's not too many places to even sit. This is what we're dealing with for the drink. Uh, so we're only gonna do one drink tonight, then the next time we'll try another drink, right? So it's gonna be the Asteroid Attack, Old Forester Bourbon, Lemon Juice, Agave, and Malbec Floater with a blackberry and mint syrup. I'm kind of worried about the mint syrup because uh, as we know, the mint can overpower a lot of stuff. Interesting. Oh, the mint. Oh, the mint throws it off. It reminds you of kind of like chocolate blackberry, right? With kind of that like bourbon chocolatey flavor. And then you get like the blackberry, right? So you get that fruitiness and a little bit of tartness. And then you get mint. But who wants a chocolate berry mint? No one. This is where we are with the drink. Mint ruins it. It just feels like you're brushing your teeth and then you're trying to drink a uh, fruity cocktail. It does not work. The, the guy loves his bitters, he loves his mint, and he loves his cinnamon. You know, we got the bitters removed. The mint is not needed in this drink. It'd be great without the mint, but the mint kind of over overpowers everything. Thing. I would do a 6.5. The drink to get is the ooze. The ooze I've ordered twice now. It's a solid drink and I would keep ordering the ooze. I'll say it when I go to HHN now. I rock the light up little boo necklace. Let's head into HHN now. The sun is going down. Uh, let's try some new food, see how the wait times are. Okay, we popped into the main City Walk store. I believe this is the only place you can get it. $33, Revenge of the Dead Coconut Club in 3D. I love this design so much and the best part, it comes with actual 3D glasses. Little things like this that I love so much, but. Okay, it's here. The souvenir guitar sipper that we talked about months and months ago. It finally showed up. There's a very limited supply, I will say that. So make sure to get it as soon as possible. I have the guitar in this little plastic box. It just looks like a little caged animal. The guitar is pretty cool, right? So it's kind of based on Eddie's guitar that he uses during the season finale. Now it is a sipper. Um, it, the drink is not included. It's gonna be $25 plus tax. You're gonna have a little keychain on the side of the sipper. It's gonna say Netflix, right? Then on the other side, it's gonna say Stranger Things. The guitar is pretty sealed up. This does not pop off. I'll twist this part and then it's a small small little area i don't know how functional this is but you need a funnel to put your drink in there there's no way a drink is fitting in there but it looks like it probably hold one bottle of soda that's about it then it's gonna have the hellfire club you know symbols and logos and on the back it's gonna say halloween horror nights on the guitar the color is very different this is a very bright red and this is a very dull red okay here's a little better shot different colorway on each guitar it looks like on this guitar it's showing the stranger things logo right here on the guitar this is how i thought the guitar was going to look when you look at it compared to the concept art it's quite different so. we are here halloween horn got some of the scare actors out Dr. Oddfell, how are you doing today? Marvelous, my boy. I do so enjoy dancing in the darkness. So someone wanted me to ask you a question. Ask away. What is your doctorate in? My dear boy, I'm a doctor of the things not known, of the things unknown. I'm a doctor of the darkness, of the shadow. 
Do you wish for immortality? I do. You know what? I have my own glowing skull right here. It, it gives me immortality too. My dear boy, lying is unbecoming of you. That is a pumpkin. If you want true immortality, yeah. do come and see me. I'm sure we can figure something out for you. And the Dark Zodiac is popping tonight. Look at everyone. All right, now, there needs to be more fog pumping in. I want it smoked up like Cheech and Chong stand. Oh no, the leg, oh no. All right, now the first food booth we're gonna be going to is gonna be the one located right before Springfield. You can kind of see the bloody handprints over here. There's a duck dish that you guys told me to try. It's gonna be the butternut and duck calette duck confit and roasted butternut squash filled pastry garnished with buckshot candies. If you ever go hunting and buckshot, right, sometimes you gotta pick it out of your meat. I'm straight on into town. I'm a big fan of duck, so let's see how this is. Oh, damn. That's a buttery, flaky crust, baby. Oh my god. That was incredible. It had a wonderful, flaky crust. It reminded me of a lot of, in Germantown, Maryland, they have like the Amish market, and they make these apple pies. That tasted like the apple pie crust from the Amish market. And then you get this wonderful sweetness from the butternut squash, and a very tenderful, flavorful duck in there. And then the buckshot was a lot of fun, because when you bite into it, it feels like there's something wrong, and you got buckshot in it. So that's a fun dish. Wonderful flavor profile to it. I wish there was a little bit more sauce on there, but I'm gonna do a nine out of 10. I will be getting that again. Eddie actually is here at HHM with the guitar. How's it hanging? Oh my gosh, we've been waiting to meet you. I'm David Pumpkins. Man. You're David S. Pumpkins. I'm David S. Pumpkins. Yeah. I'm gonna scare you stupid. <laughs> Any questions? I, I hope you are year round and you are the HHN icon next year. That's what we're all hoping now for. Now watch this. <laughs> Any questions? That is it, David S. Pumpkins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the goofiest thing. What's my name? David S. Pumpkins. <laughs> How's it hanging? It's all done. What's my name? David S. Pumpkins. That man needs a raise. He does the exact same skit with every single person in line. It's so good. The scare actor is amazing. That's one of the most bizarre things I think HHN has ever had, and I'm down for it. Like an NPC in a video game, where he just has the same five voice lines, <laughs> but you love it every time. We're gonna head into Shipyard 32, see if there's anything new happening. He just scared the crap out of everyone. The Nosferatu in that cage, I think they loosened the bars because they are extremely loud. He was scaring the crap out of every single person walking by. The uh, bars didn't move too much on opening weekend, but now they're very loud. They like roll and they're scaring the crap out of everyone. So I like that tweak that uh, Universal did. The line for the food goes all the way back here just to purchase. So the line just to get their food, they've already paid. It's all the way. <laughs> it goes all the way back there. How you doing? Hell yeah. So the line is going all the way back here for people with their receipts just to get their food. All right, we're heading into Vamp 69. I thought a scare actor was coming up to us, but it was just an annual pass holder gnawing on a turkey leg. I thought it was like a vampire gnawing on a leg. Oh, they're cooking up something. A hamburger, maybe? That looks good. Oh, what do we have in here? Oh, a nice stew, a nice broth happening. Well, oh God. And in here, there's a, there's a head of lettuce. Uh, we got the projection inside the bus. Some vampires attacking. The scare actor's just having a blast in this scare zone tonight. Hey, all right. Like, you cannot move inside this trivia store. There are just so many people. I don't know where these lines are. There's multiple lines within the Last of Us food booth. It goes all the way back here. Like, you're gonna be waiting 45 minutes to an hour just to get some food. We're gonna go to the Yeti booth. We're gonna be getting the poutine. We got the bloody campground poutine, crispy fries topped with the Asian inspired gravy, char siu roasted pork, cheese curds, scallions with crispy chilies. The fries are nice and crispy. Pork is tender and juicy. Bunch of fat, full of flavor. All right, poutine. We're gonna do 8.5. We wish there's a little bit more cheese curds, but it's a good variety of flavors. It's something drastically different, but also very familiar. What's the wait time for Stranger Things? <laughs> 320 minutes. I have the ones that are. Is that right? 320 minutes for the Stranger Things hell. Justin has joined the cult of Boo! 
Oddfellow Twisted Origins, 60 minute wait. Let's see how long Express take. It took Alice and I almost an hour on opening night. Express uh, for Oddfellows going back here. Not as bad as opening night. Opening night, Alice and I were like far, far, far back. So I'm gonna say 15 minutes. Cross our fingers. All right, so it's different than opening night. You go this line, then you go switch back, and then you get another one, and then you get into the circus. So it took 20 minutes to get to this point. Um, so better than opening nights. I don't know if you can do all 10 houses in one night. I don't know. Okay, guys, now we are back in Maryland right now. We're still shooting the Markups Hunted Forest video, uh, but we do test in an upcoming video. Can you accomplish 10 HHN 32 houses in one night with Express. Crowds are just wild this year. They literally stopped selling frequent fear passes because it is so busy. Express passes have pretty much all sold out on a lot of the nights. We'll talk about an upcoming video just like how they're gonna handle HHN 33 next year. It's just too busy. There's just too many people there that it's almost just kind of like not enjoyable anymore if you're waiting an hour for food. We're this far into the event. I believe there's supposed to be more food booths. They're supposed to be coming. I don't know where they are right now, but there needs to be some more stuff within in HHN to kind of uh, divert the crowds away from the houses because the wait times have just become insane now. But I did enjoy the little boost scavenger hunt. If you have not done that, it's only $13, right? I had a blast doing it. Now the little prize that you do get is this little ornament. It kind of looks like stained glass. Uh, here's the ornament from 2022 compared to the ornament from 2023. Those ornaments will be going up on our Christmas tree. But guys, I hope you enjoyed our little adventure today. I had some good food, some good drinks. So on that note, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. We love the family! Because I'm going to keep you up to date on all things Halloween Horror Nights and Universal Studios around the country. I love you all, and I'll see y'all very soon. That is a pumpkin. We have a question. Uh-huh. Have you seen Hooterade? Not around here. Not around these lands. <laughs>